Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to Vidyanagar Online Classroom. I am your Arabic teacher, Fadl al Malik, with a new chapter Al, al Qadi al Zaki. Al Qadi al Zaki, intelligent judge. Al Qadi al Zaki, intelligent judge. My dear students, do you enjoy our online class or you are getting bored with it? Don't get bored. You have to enjoy Arabic language. Arabic is easy language, very simple language. Everyone can learn it easily. How do you feel it? Easy one or difficult? Ali Zaiga, how do you feel? Yes, today as I told a new chapter, second chapter that is Al Qadi Al Zaki. Zaki intelligent. Al Qadi, Qadi means judge. Who judge in the court, you know, judge the same here. It's a story of two people. One is rich man. Another one is a poor worker. Once the worker, when he was decided to go a journey, he gave some money to that rich man to keep safely. After return the journey, he asked that money which he had kept with the rich man. That time, that rich man denied refused to give that money when they reached to the judge and raised the issue in front of the judge finally the judge realized that rich man is liar and the rich man finally returned the amount to the poor worker this is the story so, let's go to our chapter, Al-Qadi Al-Zaki, Al-Dars Al-Than. Second chapter, Al-Qadi Al-Zaki, Intelligent Judge. As I told, there is two characters, one is rich man, another one is poor worker and the Qadi Judge here. Okay? I read now, first paragraph. Then we explain the meaning. ذهب عامل إلى القاضي وقال له وضعت نقودا عند هذا الغني وسافرت في رحلة ورجعت من السفر وطلبت نقودي فرفض الغني ذلك ذهب عامل إلى القاضي. A worker went to judge. ذهب very old word. ذهب everyone knows that. عامل in the last year you studied كان حامد عامل worker. وقال له and said to judge. وضعت I put نقودا money cash. عند هذا الغني with this rich man this rich man وسافرت في رحلة and I traveled on a journey رحلة journey سافرت I traveled ورجعت and I returned رجع return رجعت I returned من السفر from the journey and wa and طلبتو I requested نقودي my cash my money فرفض ف then رفض رفض means refused الغني the rich man refused ذلك that that means that money to give me back okay Word meaning of this paragraph. Nukud, money or cash. Al-ghani, 
rich man. Rihlat journey. Refused. Rafada. Refused. Again. Nukut. Money. Al Ghanij. Rich. Rihlat journey. Rafada. Refused. You, you clear? You got? Okay. In the first paragraph, we can ask some questions and its answer. Nas'al wa nujib. Ila aina zahab al amil. Ila aina. To work. Zahab al amil. Where did the worker go? Safar al amil fi rihla. The worker traveled on a journey. This is the answer. You ask, you, you write the question and its answer in the notebook after watching the class, after understanding the paragraph and the story. Clear? Second question, the same paragraph. Maza tolab al amilu min al ghani. Maza, what? Tolaba, requested. Al amil, the worker. Min al ghani, from the Rich man. What did the worker request the rich man? What did he request? Talabal amilu. The worker requested min al ghaniji from the rich man a nukud. What is nukud? We studied just before. Cash, money. Okay. Second paragraph. First I will read. Sa'al al qadi al amil. Min aina? أعطيت هذا الغني النقود سأل القاضي العامل من أين أعطيت هذا الغني النقود فقال العامل مشيت معه إلى خارج القرية وأعطيت النقود عند مسجد في المدينة see you can see giving the picture and there is a village and the masjid photo here. Now let's see the paragraph. Sa'ala al-qadi al-amil. Sa'ala asked. The judge asked the worker. Min aina a'tayta hadha al-ghaniyya? From where did you give this rich man the money? Faqal al-amil. Then the worker said, Mashay to Ma'ahu. I walked with him. Masha walked. Mashay to I walked. Ila Kharijil Kharia. To outside of village. Kharij outside. Wa a'tay to Nukuda. Wa a'ta. Wa and. A'ta gave. A'tay to I gave. An Nukuda. The money. In the near. Masjidin fil Madina near the masjid in the city or in the town. Okay, that means he the work the poor worker and rich man went to town there get the money. Saala asked. Saala asked. Aatayta, you gave. Mashaytu, I walked. Kharij, outside. In the near. Saala asked, Aatayta, you gave. Mashaytu, I walked. Kharij, outside. Okay? In this Paragraph also we can find question and its answer. Mada sa'al al qadi al amil. What did the judge ask the worker? What did the judge ask the worker? Min aina a'tayta hadha al ghaniya al nukud. From where did you give this rich man money? From where did you give? The rich man, the money. Where in the masjidin, 
fil Madina. Then third paragraph I read first. سأل القاضي الغني هل هذا صحيح؟ هل هذا صحيح؟ فقال الغني لا يا سيدي لا يا سيدي ما أخذت منه نقودا وما رأيت ذلك المسجد في حياتي لا يا سيدي ما أخذت منه نقودا وما رأيت ذلك المسجد في حياتي سأل أسكد أسكد I studied just before القاضي الغني this time judge asked the rich man هل هذا صحيح is it correct is it correct فقال الغني is it right لا يا سيدي rich man said no my no sir I haven't taken money from him وما رأيت ذلك المسجد في حياتي وما رأيت I haven't seen ذلك المسجد that مسجد في حياتي in my life is it correct no sir I haven't taken money from him and I haven't seen that مسجد in my life let's see some question answer from this paragraph نسأل ونجيب ماذا قال الغني للقاضي What did قاضي say to judge ما أخذت منه نقودا وما رأيت ذلك المسجد في حياتي I haven't taken from him money and I haven't seen that masjid in my life it is very clear that this rich man is lying and is number one liar. Now we stop our lesson till this paragraph. Inshallah, next class we will continue the chapter. Okay? My dear students, you have to read the lesson many times till you understand the words and able to read alone and Learn the vocabularies. I just mention here to recall again. Al Kali Adiki is our chapter. Intelligent judge, Al Fakir. Rich, rich, opposite Fakir, poor. And Al Kali the judge. The Nukud means money, Rihlat, journey. There are many other vocabularies also in our chapter. You read the chapter and find out. Today we will have online class test based on the first chapter. Okay. So have a look to the examination points. Did Amrul fail? There will be questions from that grammar. And time in Arabic. Sometimes you write the time or other times you will ask, you will be asked to draw the correct needle of the cloaks. And question answer not based on the chapter. That means Mata uh, Istai Kala Rashid. There is no that such co type question. But there will be another type question in our textbook activities we have studied. Okay. The last one Arabic months. 12 Arabic months you have written and we have studied in the class first chapter. Okay, when, what time the exam will be? The exam time, first the total marks 15, oh, okay, total marks 15 and the time of duration of the exam is 40 minutes, 40 minutes and exam time 11, uh, 7 p.m. tomorrow evening, 7 p.m. Okay, the exam is 7 p.m. tomorrow and maximum extended time is 8 p.m. You have to submit it at 8 p.m. before 8 p.m. Okay, and 
Honesty is the best policy means you have to write what you have studied. Don't, don't ask anyone and don't open your textbook. You write what you have studied and I wish you all the best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Have a nice day.